between these two incredible sides. That really was state rivalry at its finest. Both these sides have made huge sacrifices like so many of us in the community this season to ensure it would go ahead. On the 23rd of June, both the New South Wales Swifts and the Giants packed up and left home not knowing when they would return. 67 days away from their loved ones, their families, and probably the biggest challenge of all if you're Sophie Garbin, living out of just the one suitcase. They, however, unlocked new bonds with their teammates they will no doubt remember forever, showing strength in teamwork and resilience to make it through to the big dance today. But there can only be the one winner, and today they've capped off a stellar season, winning their second Suncorp Super Netball Championship. Congratulations to the New South Wales Swifts. To get the presentations underway, I would like to welcome Nepal Australia board member Jane Seawright, Queensland Minister for Tourism, Industry, Development and Innovation, Minister of Sport, the Honourable Sterling Henchcliffe, Suncorp Group Chief Executive Officer Steve Johnston, Nissan Australia Northern Region General Manager Dale Robbins. As I'm joined by this group, I would like to pass on a big thank you to all of our principal partners, Suncorp broadcast partners Nine and Telstra, and the great family of league and club partners, including major partners Nissan, HCF and Origin. All of these partners playing a critical role in getting our season going this season. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to the people behind the scenes at Netball Australia and all the Super Netball clubs who've worked tirelessly to keep the season alive. As usual, your commitment has been steadfast. I would like to make special mention to Tourism and Events Queensland and the Queensland Government for again making Queensland our home away from home for the last four weeks of this season. <laughs> special shout out also to Queensland Health for their support and guidance in navigating this COVID landscape, ensuring we could train, play and safely deliver Super Nepal to our fans. Speaking of the fans, to all of the ones here and to all of the ones at home watching, we say thank you to you too. We know this season has been like none other and your support of the world's great game has been unwavering. You truly are the beating heart of our sport. To start the awards presentation, I would like to call forward Queensland Minister for Tourism, Industry Development and Innovation, Minister of Sport, the Honourable Sterling Henchcliffe, to present the umpires awards. <laughs> Firstly, Kate Wright. <laughs> Justin Barnes. And Bromwood Adams. Just like the players, our umpires have endured a tough 2021, not only making huge sacrifices to make the season happen, but having to relocate as many times as the players. Thank you to every umpire who has officiated a match this year and to all the bench officials for the work they have done, not only today, but throughout the entire season. I would now like to hand over to Suncorp Group Chief Executive Officer Steve Johnston to say a few words. Well, thank you. Um, I'd like to uh, welcome and acknowledge the dignitaries that are present today, of which there are many, uh, to also acknowledge the Swifts and the Giants for an outstanding game today. You have done yourselves proud, you've done your state proud, and you've done your clubs proud. Now, now on behalf of our chairman, Christine McLaughlin, herself a, a very loyal and dedicated netball fan, and all the 13,000 Suncorp people around Australia, I'd like to really acknowledge the sacrifice and the effort that's gone into keeping this competition alive in the most trying and difficult of circumstances. And that includes all the players, all the coaches, all the officials, on-court officials, administrators, Channel 9, Telstra, and of course the Queensland Government who've made this all possible. Without your efforts, this would not have been able to be achieved. Now I know in times, there's a lot of debate in these times 
around the appropriateness or otherwise of continuing with uh, championships and tournaments like this when so many of our fellow Australians are locked down at home. But that underestimates the important role that sport plays in bringing our communities together and giving us hope. And I think we've seen today that hope that we hope will continue into the future. We've been proud sponsors and supporters of Netball Australia since 2017. We're particularly proud of our Team Girls initiative, which is giving a new generation of, of girls an opportunity to be confident, to show themselves, to stand up, to show leadership, teamwork, collaboration, and all the things that will serve them so well in the future. And an official announcement will be made on Monday, but there doesn't seem to be a better time than now to advise everyone here that Suncorp has decided over the last couple of weeks, along with Netball Australia, to continue our sponsorship of Netball Australia. So ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, next year we'll be welcoming you back to the Suncorp Super Netball 2022 tournament. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Steve, and a huge thank you to Suncorp for continuing your support of our great game and keeping women and girls involved. I would now like to ask Dale Robbins from Nissan Australia to come forward to present the Nissan Player of the Match. Good afternoon. The ninth, uh, sorry, the 2021 Player of the Match is the Swifts goal defence, Matty Turner. Well, while it didn't go their way today, they certainly put up a great fight and it's a testament to their resilience that they made it through to the grand final this season. I would like to welcome Giants captain Joe Harton to the stage to say a few words. Talking. Okay, here we go. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank the Tourism Events Queensland for keeping us on the road in what has been a truly unprecedented season. We know it's tough um, when we see the rest of Australia in lockdown, but I, I think I speak on behalf of both clubs that it is a privilege to keep playing this game during a global pandemic, and that is thanks to the Queensland Government. Also, huge thanks to Suncorp for keeping netball in prime time and allowing us this opportunity to grow the game. To our Giants partners, HCF, FDC, Nissan and Woolworths, you really have backed us in the whole way. We're so super grateful that we have such a great family of partners for our club and yeah, you really keep us uh, bouncing along on the road. To the Swifts, to Bryony, Maddie and Paige, Congratulations, um, you are unstoppable today and you're an absolute credit to yourselves, your club and your state. You are leaders in our game and you thoroughly deserve that championship. It is bitterly disappointing not to come away with the win today, but it is an honour, like I said, to stand up here and, and play the game we love in front of fans. and. We uh, speak to our fans and our members back in New South Wales regularly and we hope you're doing well and staying safe. Finally, to our club, the Giants, girls, you've done yourselves proud this whole season. There's nothing left to do apart from stand tall. You've given absolutely everything for this game and for this club and you should be immensely proud of yourselves. Thank you, everyone. Well, a big thank you to you too, Joe. No one ever says it's better than you do. Now let's turn our attention to what all the Swift supporters both here and back at home in New South Wales have been waiting for. I'd like to welcome Swift's coach, Bryony Akel, to present each of the New South Wales Swift's players their championship medal. Taylor Fraser. 
Taylor Fraser. <laughs> Sophie Garbin. Nat Haythamthwaite. Helen Housby. Sarah Clow. Lauren Moore. Maddie Turner. Sam Wallace. And the co-captains, Paige Hadley and Maddie Proud. And if I could get Paige Hadley and Maddie Proud to now present Bryony Akel with her championship medal. Well, there'll be two very happy captains here. If I could ask Paige Hadley and Maddie Proud to say a few words. Oh, um, firstly, like Joe, we'd like to thank Netball Australia and Queensland Tourism and Events for making the season possible. I think they brought back the mystery flight this year. We got on a plane, you didn't know where you were going to go, but it was so exciting and we were just so fortunate to be able to travel all over Australia um, and get, yeah, just be able to keep this season alive and we know so many people can't do what they love, so it was a real privilege to be able to keep playing and we're just so grateful that they were able to keep it going. Um, to Suncorp again for keeping the season alive, Christine McLaughlin will be back at home and she'll be hoping I give her a shout out and the Minerva Network, so that one's for you, Christine. Um, to QBE and all our major sponsors, we can feel the love all the way here in Sydney. Uh, in, we're not in Sydney. Um, in Brisbane, from Sydney and all over Australia, and we're just so grateful for all your support. Um, to Netball New South Wales, they're the heartbeat of this club. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without them. We all this week have just felt so much love near and far and um, again today when we stepped out on that court I think both teams we know how special it was to be an all New South Wales grand final and so for everyone sitting on their couches back home in Sydney this one was for you and we're just so grateful for everything you've done. Uh, firstly to Giants Netball, um, the adversity you, got, you guys have faced with injury, um, isolation, quarantine, the travel, you guys should be so proud and I'm proud of Netball and Tabo to be able to create a first Derby Grand Final um, together so you should be super proud and congratulations. Um, to our New South Wales Swiss members, fans here and afar in Sydney, that was for you. Um, Ooh, probably get emotional. Um, it's obviously been super tough being away from family and friends and we know you're doing it super tough back at home and we have felt so much love um, and pride from all of you and we are so proud to, to wear this dress and to do it with absolute um, pride for you guys. So that one was for you. And lastly, to the girls and the staff um, to my right and the girls behind me, it has been one hell of a journey. We were reflecting on it this morning and um, I couldn't be prouder, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else and to come back after a disappointing 2020 and then come out and win this premiership after all the adversity. We lost Bryony halfway and we got her back and yeah, I couldn't be proud and um, let's go out and enjoy this one. And, and the umpires, sorry, we know the game would not exist without you guys and although sometimes we're not very nice to you, we appreciate everything you do, so thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> To hand over the trophy to the 2021 Premiers, I'd like to invite by Suncorp Group Chief Executive Officer Steve Johnston. Congratulations to the 2021 Suncorp Super Netball Champions, the New South Wales Swifts. Have it a fitting finale to a fantastic season. Congratulations to the 2021 Suncorp Super Netball Champions, the New South Wales Swifts. Thanks to you at home for watching Nine's Wide World of Sports.